Hey everyone, this is Fig. I guess I'd like to speak a little bit more about the topic of division. What commonly, all throughout scripture, what we see is people actively standing up against a majority in order to do the right thing for God, for people, etc. And yet, today in Christianity, if you actually bother to do the court thing, they tell you that you're being too divisive. You're the problem because you chose to do the court thing. If you actually stand up and say, hey, sin is sin, then you're the one in the wrong because everybody else wants to sin and they want to do whatever. Standing up and saying that it is wrong to outcast people simply because you disagree with them. is just gonna apparently score you this oh you're, you're you're just too divisive you're too divisive labeling if a group of christians is actively saying that if you dare do the right thing you're in the wrong then the group of christians is in the wrong not you when you think about the stuff jesus said and did he never said, oh, just wear a blindfold and follow the majority and go fellowship with those guys over there who are actively claiming that I wanted them to say, no, he didn't do that. He never said blindly following the majority is the way that I want you to go. Instead, he said, pick up your cross and follow me and the world will hate you. The majority is commonly part of the world. Jesus never said, oh, go blindly, do what everybody else does, or you're not going to go to heaven. Jesus never said that if you don't follow the majority, then you're the worst person ever and are being too divisive. Instead, he commonly discouraged following the majority blindly. Yet today, they say, Oh, you're too divisive if you don't agree with us on even the slightest little thing. You're too divisive if you choose to do the right thing and the majority chooses to do the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Tell me again where Jesus said the only way to be right is to have this blind trust that only the majority can ever be correct because I have yet to find this all within the actual Bible. From what we know about Jesus, he commonly went against the majority. Yet Christians today think that if you go against the majority, you're the one in the wrong, even if they're off sinning and doing whatever. You don't run around claiming that your sins against Jesus are because Jesus wanted them. That's not the way that works. It's never going to be the way that it works. Just because the majority says that it's okay to sin because it's, to, to, it's the majority doing it and anybody who stands up against it is in the wrong does not make that right. Jesus does not agree that the majority is always correct. The scriptures do not agree that the majority is always correct. Time and time again throughout scripture, we see people throwing away everything, giving up everything, just to do what God wanted them to do. Commonly, all throughout the Bible, these people who were actively doing what God asked them to do, we're up against the majority. Yet today, they say, if you go against the majority, you're the divisive one. Mm. I'm sorry. But that is just not the way that it works. If actual division offends you, well, Jesus has stated that he comes not to bring peace, but instead a sword to divide people with. Yeah, that, that's actually scripture. Something scripture actually says.
I'm not saying love and unity are bad. As it stands, there are many scriptures that all encourage love and unity as well. However, Jesus still does not ask you to lie about other people. He doesn't. If you think he does, but you're calling the people that you were lying about delusional, then it's very likely you're deflecting your own delusional state onto the people you were lying about. But that is just my opinion and my take. Being divisive in the sense that you are actively telling a, a majority that what they're doing is wrong is actually very a very scriptural thing to do. We all understand and know this, or at least we should. If you don't, have we all been reading the same book? Given the fact that everything is currently Mandela affected, that, that the answer might not be correct. The answer might just be a no. But anyway, it just seems to me that the word divisive is being tossed around solely for the purpose of protecting the lives and slander and any other sins that they are committing. The word divisive does not actually mean anything in this instance. It is just an excuse to continue being mean to those who don't deserve it. And when you are actively looking Jesus in the eye at the end of all of this, you will have to tell him why you disowes chose to sin and behave like God wanted it and shut down anybody who said not to with the whole but they're being too divisive by daring to go up against this sin excuse which it is that is all that it is you all when you are looking at Jesus directly in the eye you're gonna have to tell him exactly why you did that instead of acknowledging that you were wrong Instead of taking responsibility for your own actions. Do you really think that Jesus will accept the excuse of, but it was just too divisive to go against the majority, when all throughout the Bible, time after time again, people who actively followed God had to go against the majority, over and over and over. Tell me, why is using division as your excuse to treat people like dirt, even remotely acceptable? It's not acceptable. It won't honor God. It does not honor Christ. It does not honor Jesus to claim that God wants you to lie and slander. That in itself is a lie. That does. So, will the idea that it is divisive to go against the majority from your mind when all throughout scripture? God expected people to go against the majority. Well, this particular video has gone on a bit longer than I expected but anyway i will see everybody next time thank you for watching